All right, we've taken the glass off so you guys can get like a better sense of what's going on in the game so there's not as much glare. We're also gonna do some gameplay videos with the glass off as well. Um, just some things to note. You know, I, I think when we saw the prototype of Magic Girl, there were two magnets that were near the out lanes that I think were designed to sort of save the ball, sort of a la shooting stars and toad in. Those had been removed. What's interesting is this here, this, this thing spins. And I can already see it's like, it's a little bit above the play field. Um, and the ball sort of hits that and goes in different directions. But, you know, again, I don't think John really designed this uh, to incorporate how fast the balls are coming at that. So whenever the ball has any momentum, it flies over that into the out lane. This game does out lane drain a lot. Another interesting thing about this game uh, you'll notice how the locks are here. There's an L, O, and then a C and a K. When you're playing, you can't see the O and the C because of the rabbits. They block it. Like these rabbits are really <laughs> cool, um, but you can't even see uh, what's happening there. I'm not sure how you get this, the, the magic post to pop up. It happens when you hit something up there. I'm, I'm not sure though what it is. There's been a lot of like talk and concern about uh, this piece breaking. Uh, just so you guys know, th there is a good inch and a half below this piece that the ball goes under. So the ball will never hit this piece. Um, so I don't think you have to worry about that breaking. Um, there's, what else can I show you? This tiger saw, it just spins. It's not, I don't think it's wired to anything. So we're not gonna see that thing moving. Uh, there's this weird, well before we go down here, there's, so the, the skills, the skill shot plunge, uh, you know, John didn't put any, we talk about it, there's no shooter lane groove. And it's just flat with, with, with the rod. So you really can't get a powerful plunge out of this. And I know that this has sort of been like a running joke with the guys at American Pinball, uh, that everyone said he should, he needs to lower that to get more velocity or put a groove here to get more velocity with the plunge. It's not there. So what ends up happening is even on a full plunge, you're not getting a, a really powerful sort of cannon shot of the ball. And if you look here, if you can get in there, Brenda, like it's designed so the ball can go up this and flip over around back. So hold on. And so, oh. see, see, it goes up. Up in there. See, let me get, let me grab a ball and try and, and throw you guys. Just keep, keep shouting. Around. And then, supposed to backflip oh. over so. here. Right. Doesn't seem very logical. See, look, like if I try and get, it's hard to. Just give it a lash, go on. See how? No. Um, it goes up around here and it's supposed to land within one of these and it looks like oh, right here yeah so it comes up it does like a loop-de-loop -loop. you've uh, not been able to do that yet I just I did it like once <laughs> okay but again it's, it's, it's because you can't get a strong enough plunge and I'm not sure if like a, a stronger spring will help with that uh, I would be nervous about even more power hitting that plastic loop-de-loop uh, there's the kick out here that that scoop works fine. It kicks out strong every time. In one of the videos I saw earlier, it seems to just dribble out that again? right in here. There's your scoop. Um, so I'm not sure what this does. So if we get in on this, let me, let me get you some more. The thing with the weird creepy Jesus looking fella. Let me get you some more light with my phone. Let's see. Does that help? That's great. So we, in here, this, yeah, this like caveman Jesus guy. There's, there's a switch at the bottom of it, and then the whole thing looks like it's wrapped, like it's a magnet or something, and I don't know if the ball's supposed to go up there, uh, but it's, or just make, I don't know. It makes some sound when you hit it, but that's about it. Uh, this here, this is like little, was Theater of Magic Land. This spins, and then that, That's know, great. Yeah, like that spins, that's cool. That's lovely. That's it. Uh, my owl. Your owl. So you guys know for confirmation, this is the owl that's backwards. He should be facing the other way. Um, I don't know if he's glued on there, but that's an easy thing to fix. Or I'm. Just I don't know. I think that. it's ironic to leave it that way. There is the other owl. So the, this. Let's go back here to this big mechanism. Um, again, if you guys can see this thing, I, it's really. 
confusing like how this whole thing works. Nothing really works right now. You, you saw me hit some ramp shots, um, but other than that, I, the ball, I don't know how the ball gets into this magnet. I, I really, I really don't know what it does. You know, let me get a ball and drop it in there so you guys can see like what he might have been thinking. Um, hold on a second. Get both his face down there while you do this. Yeah, okay. What? See this guy? Look at this guy. That's how much he cares about Magic Girl. Let you fella. Let's get two out just in case we want to do more than one thing with it. Cool. All right. All right, so. Chris, maybe just, can you maybe for me even just explain like where's the ball meant to flow? Because right now, there's just a, a lot of just plastic. Yeah, so we go up the r ramp here. The ball can either, the ball goes up the ramp, and you saw me hit the shot. I mean, sometimes it goes up and it diverts. There, it looks like this, this is a diverter here, so. I'm zooming in on that, hold on. If it diverts, mm -hmm. right now the diverter is closed, mm -hmm. so that would make the ball go down this ramp here, right? If that okay. diverter is open, then this ball loops around here. See, it's just it, and then goes down this ring. Right. Right. Now, the big question is, how does the ball get in there, in the middle, right? So, if and you mean in the middle, underneath? The creepy looking fella. Yeah, how does it get in there? Like the right. only the only thing I can see is underneath there, something like a something would push the ball from underneath the center of it up. Like almost like like a pencil, like the alien tongue would push it up and and bring it up into the middle of it. I can see that. Can you see that? Uh, there's No, we'll get that angle again. Hole. But here's here's the issue. Like what happens when I drop the ball into this area, right? So it just came straight down. It definitely, it's definitely confusing because once the ball is in here, you know, it's, 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 it's guided to fall down there. But then there's this place here, if you can see this, Brenda, in the back here. I don't want to break my owl. Um, See back here, this ramp, it looks like the ball gets fed here. It's really difficult to see what your man can in the you way. See, can you come around the back here? Oh, well, I'm up on a stool. It like, it rolls around the back there. And, and, and look at that, the ball gets stuck. <laughs> wow, let's try to get it. So clearly, we have a problem there. This can't, this can't, Go down there, but this section isn't playable. Isn't playable. And you're going to need to have some sort of fix here to keep that ball from staying inside this area. Yeah, let me move over so um, you can show people the back of that.